Hello everyone, welcome back to another crochet tutorial and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the clown top. If you prefer a written pattern for this top, you can find my shop link on the description box below. This design works best with ombre or gradient yarn, but you can also use a solid color. And before we start, I just want to thank and show you my lovely testers who helped me with this pattern. I will put their page name and YouTube channels on the description box below so you can give them a follow. We would greatly appreciate that. So to start with our foundation chain, make a slip knot and work a chain with the count on what's written on the screen according to your size. I'm working on size extra small so I'm going to chain 34. So after your foundation chain, starting on the 7th chain from hook, we will start our shell stitch. To make a shell stitch, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet on the same stitch or chain. So after your shell stitch, skip 2 chain and work double crochet on the next. Again, skip 2 chains and work a shell stitch on the next. Again, skip 2 and work a double crochet on the next. So basically, we will just alternate a shell stitch, skip 2 chain, double crochet, skip 2 chain, and another shell stitch. You should end up with a double crochet and total shells for each sizes will be written on the screen. For row 2, start with chain 3. Flip your work and on every chain 1 space, we will work a shell stitch. So. 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet, and the same chain 1 space. Then next, on this 1 double crochet from previous row, we will work a front post double crochet. Then another shell stitch on the next chain 1 space and after that 
another front post double crochet on the next double crochet from previous row so we will just alternate that until the last chain one space So we're about to finish our second row. To finish the second row, double crochet on the chain 3 space on the beginning of the first row. Next row, chain 3 and work a shell stitch on the chain 1 space. So in every front post or back post double crochet, we will call that post. And here on our first post, we will work a back post double crochet. That is to keep the bump on the front side of the top. Again, another shell stitch on the next chain one space. And another back post double crochet on the next Post. So we will just repeat that across. To end row 3, double crochet on the chain 3 space at the beginning of the previous row. So in every row, we will start our row with chain 3 and always end with a double crochet. For row 4 and 5, we will just repeat the pattern on row 2 and 3. For row 6, again, we will always start with a chain of 3 and another shell stitch on the chain 1 space. Next on this post, we will work a front post double crochet, chain 1 and front post double crochet. Next, another shell stitch on the chain 1 space. Next, a front post double crochet on the next post. Next, another front post double crochet. So, we will just repeat the shell stitch and front post double crochet across except on the last post. So it should look like this and then on here on the last post we will work again another front post double crochet chain one front post double crochet on the same post again shell stitch and end the row with a double crochet for larger sizes it, it will also look like this but with extra posts at the center later on I will show you how it looks like for larger sizes Row 7, again start with chain of 3, turn your work, and then shell stitch on the first chain 1 space. Next, work a back post double crochet on the first post.
then on this chain one space work double crochet chain one double crochet Work a back post double crochet on the next post and then again an alternate of shell stitch and a back post double crochet across except on the last two posts. So here on second to the last post, another back post double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet on the chain one space. And again, back post double crochet on the last post shell stitch on the last chain one space and end with a double crochet on the chain three space from previous row or beginning of, of the previous row Eight again, start with a chain of three and turn your work. Then shell stitch on our first chain one space. A front post double crochet on our first post. Shell stitch on this chain one space. Again, front post double crochet on our next post. shell stitch on our next chain one in space and again we will alternate a shell stitch and front post double crochet across including on the chain one space on the double crochet chain one double crochet from previous row here's how it should look like and then for row nine again start with a chain of three flip your work and again just an alternate of shell stitch and a back post double crochet across this is how it should look like for size extra small so here on the third and third to last post we will just repeat the increase pattern on row six Here's an example of a finished item. This is for size extra small. This one is for size small. As you can see, 
there is one extra post. For larger sizes, there will be more. So for row 10, chain 3, flip your work. Now, an alternate of shell stitch and front post stitch until your third post. So now we are on the third post, we will just repeat the increased pattern we did on row 6. So work a front post double crochet, chain 1, and another front post double crochet on the same post. Then after that, continue with the alternate of shell stitch and front post double crochet. But since I'm working with size extra small and we have no extra post, we will work only one shell stitch until we reach the third to last post. So now we're here on the third to last post and again we will just repeat the increased pattern we did on row 6. For larger sizes, we will still work on the third to last post as you can see here for our small size. We worked our increase on the third to last post. So to increase front post double crochet, chain 1 front post double crochet on the same post. Then after that, continue with the alternate of shell and front post double crochet until last. And your row again with a double crochet. Row 10, as you can see, we just repeated the pattern on the increased pattern on row 6 here. And for row 11, we will again repeat the same pattern on row 7. So again, start with chain of 3, flip your work, and alternate shell stitch and front post or back post double crochet. So we're here on this chain on a space. Again, we'll work a front post double crochet on the first post. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet on the chain one space and another front post on the next post. So here's how it looks like on the front side. So we will repeat that on the next increase. Of course, for larger sizes, we will still have extra posts and shelves before reaching the next increase.
After that, continue with the alternate of shell stitch and back post double crochet. For row 12, start with chain 3, flip your work and for the whole row, we will just alternate shell stitch and a front post double crochet. So row 13, start with chain of 3, flip your work and now we will have another pattern of increase. To increase, skip this first double crochet from the shell and double crochet on the next. Then shell stitch on the chain 1 space. Then another double crochet on the next stitch or double crochet. And then skip the last one and do a back post double crochet on the next post. And we will just repeat that increase pattern for the whole row. So every shell stitch should look like this. And then for 14 for row 14, chain 3, flip your work. And we will do the same pattern but without increase. To have no increase, skip two, skip the first two, double crochet next, and then shell stitch on the chain one space, double crochet next, and again skip the last two and work a front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat that for the whole row. For row 15, start with chain 3, flip your work, and another increase pattern. To increase, skip the first double crochet, double crochet the next two. Shell stitch on the chain 1 space. Double crochet the next two. Skip the last one and work a back post double crochet on the next post. Repeat that pattern for the whole row. So basically for the rest of the rows, we will just alternate an increase and without increased rows. Increased rows means we will only skip one stitch and no increased rows means we will skip two stitch. 
and still alternating the front post and back post in each row to keep the bump on the right side so here's how row 15 looks like we already have eight double crochets in each shell for the next row row 16 again no increase start with chain three we skip the first two double crochet double crochet on the next two shell stitch on the chain one space then double crochet the next two skip the last two and work work front post double crochet on the next post repeat that pattern for the whole row For the next rows until row 22, we will have no increase in every even rows and in every odd rows, we will have an increase. Here's our row 16. Now for row 17, start with chain of 3, flip your work. Then we will have an increase, so skip only one, then double crochet the next three. Shell stitch on the chain one space, then double crochet the next three, skip the last one, and again back post, double crochet on the next post. Repeat the pattern for the whole row. Here's how row 17 looks like. We already have 10 double crochets in each shell. For row 18, again no increase. Start with chain 3. Flip your work. Skip the first 2. Double crochet on the next 3. And then shell stitch again on the chain 1 space. Double crochet on the next 3. Skip the last 2. And then front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat the pattern for the whole row. We're on row 19, start with chain 3, flip your work. Skip the first one and double crochet the next 4. Shell stitch on the chain 1 space and then again double crochet the next 4. Skip the last one and then back post double crochet on the next post. Repeat for the whole row. Now row 20 without increase, so start with chain 3, flip your work, skip the first 2, and then double crochet the next 4,
shell stitch on the chain one space and then double crochet next four skip the last two and front post double crochet on the next post again repeat for the whole row So row 21, this will be our last row with increase. So start with chain 3, flip your work, skip the first one, double crochet on the next 5 stitch, shell stitch on the chain 1 space, double crochet on the next 5, skip the last one, and work back post, double crochet on the next post. Repeat for the whole row. So row 22 without increase, start with chain 3. Flip your work and skip the first 2 stitch, double crochet the next 5. Shell stitch on the chain 1 space and then again double crochet the next 5, skip the last 2 and work front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat for the whole row. For row 23 onwards, we will just repeat the same pattern on row 22 which is no increase. Always skip the first two and last two in each shell. Still continue to alternate the front post double crochet and back post double crochet in each for the next rows to keep the bump on the right side. Add more rows until your desired length but make sure to end with a total of 
even number of row. After you've done that, we will now work on these straps and to make the strap, make a chain of at least 25 to 30 inches long regardless of the total count of the chains and then slip stitch each chain all the way back. After that, we will now work with two single crochets in each row on this side. If you made the top or the length of the top go down below your belly button, you can disregard the strap for this part and continue with the two single crochets on this side and then we will make an adjustment later on on the next strap. So here on the next strap, we will again work a chain with at least 25 to 30 inches long and then slip stitch all the way back. But if you disregarded the first strap below, you can work at least 250 to 300 chains so you can make a crisscross back. After that, we will just repeat the same pattern on the opposite side. But to get to the opposite side, we will just single crochet each chain on the foundation chain. To finish the piece, we will just slip stitch and then chain 1 to secure, tighten and cut the yarn. Of course, weave the ends and you're done! If you like this video and this top, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you want a written pattern version for this top, you can find my shop link on the description box below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You may f you can find my link on the description box below. You can also message me there if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.